It's going to be on my list of things to watch. It's so good. At least the next season, anyway, because I watched the first. I might have to rewatch the first one just so I can get caught back up. Like, that's what I feel like. It I'm doesn't matter. To... The only thing that, that connects the first season to the second season it... is the cop going, We know what you did in Margrave. <laughs> like, that's like the only connection, really, between the two seasons. I mean, it's like the bear. Like, I, and, I, I've and, already seen it, but I'm going to have to Nigli, go back and watch it again. Nigli's in it, too. But she's part of the one tenth, so it makes sense why she's in it. And, you know, on a day off, you just binge, like, 14 hours of fucking, you know. Trust me. I know. <laughs> I watched all three Lord of the Rings day. movies Not in one day. day. Okay? That's what I did. All right? Did I you sleep during it? Did what? you sleep during it? Because I would have. No. It's the original Lord of the Rings trilogy. I binge watched all three go? of them in one go. Dude, you're insane. Did you talk to Frodo? I just had no time. <laughs> or I had all the time. Yeah, that was going to say. Yeah, yeah, you had nothing. Yeah, 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 what the fuck do you mean? That's a whole, yeah, like... It's a whole day. Could you imagine a director's like, cut not, of all three of those Yeah, I didn't watch the director's cut of all It's like if you try to watch all the Star Wars movies. It's like three hours and 29 minutes for the first one. Nine hours and like... Three hours and 45 for the second one and like four and a half for the third. Dude, nine hours I could never. I could never. No thanks. That's too much. I wanted to though. Like I did want to see what's in the director's cut, but like I hadn't watched them in so long. I don't know if I'd really be able to pick out what was in the director's cut over the original version. You know what I mean? See, that's why I usually I usually wait for movies that come out that are like have an unrated version or something like that. Right. Like Megan came out. Yeah. I waited. I didn't see it, and a Peacock had came out with the unrated version. So I can't go back. I don't want to go back and watch the rated version or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And to see what the difference was, I'd rather just be comfortable knowing what the unrated version that I saw was was decent enough. You know what I mean? Oh, but like yeah. I've heard that it, they were it dialed it back a lot from what the unrated version was. But I'm glad that I waited for the unrated version. Right. If you want to see the unrated version or like see the difference, there's somebody that posted it on YouTube by this point. You know what I mean? Like. What's the difference between the rated version yeah, and the movie? No, it's there? usually roughly like two and a half minutes or so of content that usually gets re-added to the movie. Or it's just the, the like, like there's this one scene where it's like kind of gory, but it's like not gory. That's like when she rips shit. the uh, when she rips the kid's ear off uh, in the woods. And, like, she, like, chases the kid and he, like, trips and falls and gets hit by a car going fucking like 40 miles an hour but then like you see all the blood and everything like that and i don't think you see a lot of that in the movie gotcha so i think that's what it is general in the same context yeah yeah, yeah. stab at a picture of the boy yeah <laughs> flashlight let everybody know yes sir and we're getting high for the Milkman Podcast! That's right, baby. I didn't break it this time. No, he didn't break the fourth wall. I did, motherfucker. Even though I knew it was coming and I already knew it was on for a while. Uh, it's all been right. on for like ten minutes, hasn't no, it? No, it's only been on for three. Oh. You dumbass. Good enough. Alright, guys. Welcome to the new episode number 18 of the Milkman Podcast. This is crazy. 18 episodes, guys. And only like 50 views on episode one. <laughs> hey, man, that's a lot of views it for is. the first episode. It is. I'll give it that. You know what I mean? Actually, I don't know what it's at right now because I, I haven't looked either. in a while. But I usually last, try to keep tabs on it. Though. Our last episode is at 26, 27. Hey, thank you to thank all you those. To all the viewers. Appreciate you guys and your candor. Yeah, hey, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Just say, please subscribe to the channel. Also, leave comments, questions. Anything you guys want to, like, contribute to the podcast or anything like that, please don't hesitate to... Any feedback. Anything. And, and don't forget to follow our streaming platforms. And our streaming platforms are also on the channel description. Uh, as, of course, Josh. What up? Joe. Kingdom Hearts was a ripoff of Zelda. You know what? You just you stole my You just stole my hot take, you I cunt. Didn't. You, you didn't say. Cut. You were supposed to say it before you said hello. We got Andy. <laughs> I did. I forgot. Oh, hey, I, I forgot. guess we're just gonna let them fight now. All right. And of course, I'm here, Cody. Wait, wait. You. I did. I did you have one. I was gonna say. You just hear, you just hear a dull thud. <laughs> I was gonna say something like about the new Pal World. Alrighty, because that's basically Pokemon with guns. It's fine. All right. So it's fine. We are going to. 
Get into it. How are we doing, guys? We all doing all right? Good, man. Good, good, good man. week. We're living. It's a good nice, good. snowy good. ass Friday. So, uh, we'll start off with what's new. Uh, what what do we all got going on here? Josh, you want to kick us off? It's um, snowing. Well, I mean, you know, we have some <coughs> news, some developments, to things. Uh, we got the trailer for Halo Season 2. Um, Where you see his face all the time. Oh. Yeah, well, listen, you know, they, I will say they have acknowledged, uh, a few a few people of the show have acknowledged that... Um, you fucked you. up. Fuck you. you fucked up. You I fucked can do whatever I fucking want. It's my up, podcast. Yeah, yeah. Yells at us for keys. Uh, Yells at us. Sir. Yeah, it's our podcast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Excuse me, sir. It's my podcast. <laughs> Sit the fuck down. Well, he, he is providing most of the stuff, doing most of the work, and uh, yeah. That's because he's got the tech. I don't have the tech, or else. Well, I no, 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 no. And no, the time. No. Like, I'm my sorry. I have a wife and a child and a job. To take All right, care of. we're getting off track. It was just a joke. He, All right. He does beat his anyway. meat off at work while he does that. <laughs> Josh, I can't help that I want to beat my meat off to you guys at work. It That's helps all. me cope with oh, my... Oh, the podcast! He listens to the podcast while he's at work. <laughs> he did. I was standing there with him, and Dude, it was hilarious. I couldn't stop laughing at some of the stuff that we were talking about. Yeah, <laughs> the, the board... Yeah, we uh, we shouldn't uh, One say thing little I people like, anymore, please. Nah. Yeah, <laughs> we're staying the, PG. The Why? Midget. Yeah, Why? Midget of, comment. Uh, Midget ladder, because of who? The midget ladder. They just stack on top of each other because they like to do that. That's oh. what he said. It was not a really good idea. <laughs> oh, like in I was Legos. like, oh yeah, they <laughs> all just like to stack on top of it's each fine. other. Right? Yeah, it's how yeah. they get taller. Like, like in Legos, <laughs> that's yeah, how they course. get to the next floor. Of course, yeah, they love to do that. That's yeah. what they want to do. They don't use scaffolding. They don't use stairs. They are the they scaffolding. They <laughs> absolutely refuse to. They'd use rather elevators. just climb each other. <laughs> They will only climb for each the other. Fast book. Yeah. <laughs> for the fast book. For the fast book. For the fast book. Yes. And that, that's with the gentle monocle, sir. Yeah. <laughs> the gentle puss. The gentle puss. All right. Uh, Joe, do you have anything new? Because you're a loser, baby. A goddamn fucking loser. Yeah, dude. Hasbin Hotel has been on my mind all day after watching it. I've already watched it twice. All, all four episodes? Twice? All four twice. Uh, like, dude. My man has dude, so much time on Dude, good. Well, I have Maeve all day. Like, I'm tired of watching fucking Bluey. So, Maeve, guess what? We're watching some horrible shit. <laughs> <laughs> We're watching a man named Angel Dust <laughs> selling crack that's like, to that's a like kid. Going, hey, This is family you wanna, friendly. You want to watch a cartoon kid? <laughs> it's 100% family Throws friendly. Throws on I fucking, what you. is that, Akira or whatever the fuck that was? That really <laughs> fucked up anime from the yeah. 90s? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, Akari. Akari or something <laughs> like that. It. Yeah, thank Thank you. <laughs> but, uh, I would proudly make a post for Charlie, sl- slap it with the saying of uh, 100% Disney with quotations around it, certified princess. Because mm. all the songs, she, she only sings two songs, but the two songs she sings are so fucking Disney-like. It's like unremarkable. Like she's singing about a happy day in hell. You're in hell. What's happy about it? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, you get to smoke crack and kill people. I mean, just, <laughs> no, what's, what's better than that? <laughs> well, besides the fact to hear the, a guy in the song state that he's, you could take all these razors and shove it in his hole, and I was like, oh, oh boy, oh my god, <laughs> that's what I want. <laughs> and they just what talk a, about what, a shitty what, day what, in hell. No, that's not. Good at I do, all. I do have a lot more stuff too. But that was a highlight of my week. I have a lot more stuff because I've seen a lot more stuff going. Oh on yeah, we'll get week. yeah we'll get to that yeah. eventually down the road. And I have quote a thing to read for quote for quotes. Oh God. Yeah. You, know, you, you almost couldn't say that there. Andy, what uh new thing you got going on this week? Well, we'll get there. But uh, come on, big boy, use that brain. We uh wa- <laughs> we watched Ted, or at least I watched all of Ted. Yes. Uh, I think we all watched all of Ted, right? Yeah. Yes. yeah. I got like an episode two or left, but it is what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll be all right. It's, it's uh, not like it's like a, oh my God, they left on a cliffhanger It's show. A, season one, <laughs> what am I it's, missing? It's, it's a comedy it show. It is definitely true that you don't have to watch them in order, because um, I watched like six with Cody or like five with Cody. It's and just then, like a Family Guy episode. Well, yeah, and then I went back and I watched them all again, and I watched rewatched five because I said, fuck it, I'm going to rewatch Dude, it. episode five was so fucking I just funny. laughed. Oh, like pretty much the whole the whole entire time. When he was fucking describing having to jerk off the dog, 
that was probably the funniest. Oh, his Vietnam secret. His Vietnam dude. secret, dude. I, I can't. I that, can't with dude, that. I'd be like, fucking, thank you, soldier. Like, dude, what the fuck you mean, I thank you, soldier? I fucking died so hard. He was like, I think he did the right thing. I was like, no way. What else? Whoa. First of all, I didn't even understand how he got to that point where he's like, oh, I have to do this. He explained but, it I in know, the but, show. But like, he literally goes. But like, come on now. Detail. You didn't have to do yes, it. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. <laughs> yes, he did. For his country. For my For country. His country. I had a jerk. You're to walking dog. around because that man jerked a dog. <laughs> You're breathing right now because I jerked off a you dog in Vietnam. You breathing that Vietnam. Nam. You ain't drinking that Nam water because that man jerked a dog off for yeah. the United States military to survive. Sure. And also, <laughs> the original shotgun was born back then as well when they were smoking out of a shotgun. Did you not know that? What are you talking about? The original shotgun term came from when they smoked weed in Vietnam out of an actual shotgun. Oh. And did you know? Did you know? Did you know? That was last week's episode. I don't give a shit. It can carry on. Yeah, I just had that one, just so you know. It was funny. Everybody was passing around it, and they would take the barrel of the shotgun and put it in their mouth to inhale the second hand, which is fucking hilarious because you're basically putting a gun in your mouth so that you can get high. <laughs> Fuck it, whatever. YOLO. Yeah. Military, hey, how's it going? That's what hey, we do around here. Between tin foils and shotguns. <laughs> yeah, whatever we gotta do to get ourselves where we need to be at. Just make sure that, that barrel's empty. <laughs> All right, so um, I got one. Uh, I saw this new, uh, well, I call, saw a couple movies. Uh, a couple Hulu originals. Uh, one of them was Prey. The new Predator movie that came out. Oh, you out. just watched Prey. I just watched. You oh, just first. saw that. So good. I didn't, really, I didn't have the the drive, want to watch the it. want to watch it until a lot of people were like, "Oh my god, dude, dude, I'm, t- really dude good. I'm surprised you didn't ask me, dude." Well, really? I wasn't like you. I wasn't never gung-ho. mentioned it. I know, but I was never gung ho for it, and I loved the. I'm one of those so guys good. that really did like the last one that came out, yeah. The Predator. What was I it? Really... Uh, are you talking about AVP Requiem? No, 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 no. The Predator. Just The Predator. Oh, 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 oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that, it came out in The last one that came out was the one where they were on the planet, right? No. Or no, that was the second to last one they released. Yes, that was called Predators. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The last Yeah, one. when they had all the dudes that were very from terrible the, people. Yeah, that from the from prison, Earth right? On. Yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, um, Prey was sick. Dude, I just like th- th- seeing I the technology was, was kind of still almost there right. with the Predator, but it was still like... Kind of primitive in it a It was way. more primitive in yeah. his era, you know yep. what I mean? So like, and then seeing him go up against <laughs> the Indians. Yep. Oh my God, that was just <laughs> yep. fucking insane. Also, if you pay... And the French. You gotta pay close attention, really close attention to the Predators... Because when they finally take their mask off and how many like kills and shit they have, like that yeah, they had the mark on their that body. shows how me- how long he's been alive and how mm-hmm. many hunts he's been on. It's insane. And like you know, there's there's predators that have been alive for thousands of years because they just don't die of mm-hmm. old age. They die from being sacrificed in their hunts or coming back from their hunts, fail and die anyway. Like because they. they losing your hunt is sacrilege to them so you know like it's it, dude the predator fucking culture is wild like yeah, i was dude. reading up on it real hardcore because of the uh the boba fett versus predator death battle that was very interesting oh, okay yeah boba fett won um but the other movie i saw was called uh self-reliance and it's uh, another hulu original and it uh Stars Jake Johnson, and he directed it. Uh, he's the guy that plays uh, Nick in New Girl. I don't know if you guys know who that is. I am I am Nick in New and, Girl. I love New Girl. Um, it's just he fucking plays great. Peter B. Parker in the Spider Verse movies. Okay. Uh, he voices him. Nick is a great character. He's yeah. a good actor too. So yeah, so Jake Johnson he directed this movie. Okay. And he also stars in this. Was movie. it good? It was okay. Yeah. Um, it was a movie about a guy who plays a game who. And the game is basically he can win a million dollars, but he has to survive assassins from killing him for 30 days straight. Oh, that's fun. It is definitely something different. Um, 
It's labeled as a comedy thriller. Okay. So it kind of keeps you on your toes. But there wasn't really a whole lot of funny scenes. Hmm. It had Andy Samberg in it. Ah. Anna Kendrick was in it. I love and a few other people Andy that were Samberg. noticeably in it. And... I bet you he got direction from Andy Samberg on how to do the show, too. Since Brooklyn Nine-Nine's been over. Oh, yeah, man. I have no idea. Either way, the the movie wasn't all that... It wasn't bad, but it wasn't, like, something I would, you know, coop up and tell everyone to go run to, you know, see. But it's still something worth seeing. It was funny in some parts, but... Yeah. So that's my new thing. All right, so let's get on to some topics here. Uh, one of the first ones that I have here, uh, we're gonna talk about some, I guess, sorry, I didn't organize it really well today. Uh, I only have one TV news, so we'll get that out of the way. Um, the only thing for TV I had was fucking Halo. (laughs) Yeah, uh, a reboot of The Office is officially in the works. The series is being uh, developed. Great. There it goes, right down the with, walk of toilet. Uh, the original creator, uh, Craig Daniels. <sighs> It'll be more of a sequel series as it will explore a different office with a new cast, but will be set in the same world as The Office. I hope for a crossover, then at least one. That, yeah, no, that will happen. I'm going to be completely honest. If there is a reboot, <coughs> that's how it should be done. And that's exactly how it's going. The original I'm creator cool that. is is. Coming. It's not going to be the same. <laughs> Show it. It can't be the same show. It's not the Different. original cast. Exactly. You can't just. And they did way too many seasons me. of that, bro. Like, and I'm yeah. telling. Like, no, honestly, they did the perfect amount of seasons. Honestly, well, no, I, feel like I mean, I know like, how many people have watched that show like, yeah. thousands of times. Oh yeah, I love Pretzel Day. Pretzel Day, dude. I fucking love The Office. The Office is fucking. Hilarious. Did you know that they play The Office and Josh's all the time? Yeah, all I've, the time. I've walked in there. And that and yeah, really um, the Back Back to the Future movie. I'm like, bro, like this movie's on every time I walk in here. I love Back to Great. the Future. These Great guys movies. are nuts. I, I mean, don't that watch pe- that. Pizza place is don't disrespect are, it. Aren't they new? Ma- they're making a new one, aren't they? <coughs> back to the Future 4 some shit no, like that? No, uh, they have a musical they're like doing or whatever right now. Mm. Mm. Nah, I don't mm. know. They need to not touch that series, though. Leave that series alone. Let it be with three. Back to the Future trilogy sounds better than. Yeah, yeah. Let's make twenty seven thousand. Yeah, right. Let's. I mean, seriously, like this, like this era of movies is going to be known as the reboot era. Well, it's because everybody's trying to do nostalgia back from our nineties. Yeah, well, that's that's the right now. We are the age group where they want to like have us spend all of our money. So the best way for them to do that this nostalgia sickness, if you want to call it, they want us to bring back the nineties, and the nineties is blowing the fuck up right now. And I don't really care because I like the nineties. I like the nineties too, but the problem is, (coughs) once again, they're rebooting things and trying to make it the same instead of trying to make something new. They can't always do that. Like as we all saw with the Little Mermaid, the Little Mermaid should have never been fucking made into live well, action. But how about look how much money it made though? How about the good shit, I know, but that's I because shit. none that's of the live actions should have been made. That's because parents brought their kids. You're never gonna be able and to stop. And they're gonna them. fucking do this. Well, oh, they're and doing it's, Snow and White. It, it's not. And it's not about you know uh, su- supporting women or women of color <laughs> doing roles or anything like that. It's just got the fact of that they should have just made a new fucking story if they were going to do a different. A person. They like, can't come up with any more original fucking stories because all the original stories were came up in the fucking nineties. Yeah, but they, Listen, that's no, the thing. they, all they came can up come up with original stories. They have, stories. and they still do to this day. You yeah. have the new stuff like Wish, Turning Red, Luca, Which, sure. Soul, Wish Bomb, all of this hard. stuff. Okay, they did, but these are yeah, all the original good. stuff that you guys are talking about, and they bombed. Mm-hmm. So they're gonna go back to the things that they know make money and they know people like, which is. Aladdin. I know, which is why Little Aladdin, Mermaid, like, Cinderella, Beauty Star and the Beast. Wars has been delayed indefinitely. I will say though that that's I did topic. really like the Aladdin. That is not another topic. That's that a is a whole that's a good topic. topic. Really, that's a good topic. I really like I really like the Aladdin, the live action Aladdin. Oh yeah, it was nah. I thought that was really good. Mm-hmm. Uh. I didn't like I'm a Robin anything. Williams fucking lover. I fucking Robin Williams was playing in our living room every day when I was a kid. Like he was always uh, Will in Smith kills with what he had. You yeah. know what I mean? With what he was dealt with. Good morning, so. Vietnam! Yeah, yep. Okay, Robin Williams, my guy. I mean, come on now. Yeah, I mean, hello. It's one of the biggest movies. <laughs> Fucking is. 
I say Mrs. Doubtfire was pretty high though. Oh, dude, oh, I was Mrs. up Doubtfire there, but you know so what the funny good. thing was? Whoever no. made heels, I'm gonna fucking find him and kill him. <laughs> he, he, uh, he, I don't think he really enjoyed <coughs> that as much as uh, <coughs> like thought he did. He just All did right, it. Now, fucking Hulk. Hook or Flubber. Flubber's my jam. favorite. It was See, one of my guys, all-time jam. favorite movies. You guys are skipping over a great movie that I love with him. Which one? Good Will Hunting. Yeah, oh. with Matt Damon. Yeah, Matt Damon. Yeah. Matt Damon. Yeah. That one and his other one, uh, was it Jack? I think is what it's called. Jack! Oh my god, I love Dude, that yeah. movie Jack. shattered my heart oh. at the end. Ugh. The way he gives his speech as an old ass man, yep. he still gets into the car <laughs> in the back seat yep. and then drives off. Yeah, he buddies. graduated from high school because he graduated. He's got from the high opposite school. of Benjamin Button. <laughs> yep. Damn. I wouldn't want that Benjamin. Button. Yeah. Now Robin Williams has had ab- some absolutely amazing movies. Mm-hmm. End of discussion. You know, his daughter Zelda Williams is actually directing yes. the Lisa Frankenstein movie coming out. Yes. Oh, it's pretty Dude, I lost my shit years ago when I found out he named his daughter Zelda. I oh, was yeah. like, that is amazing. Also, if you've never seen it, The Angriest Man in Brooklyn is one of his last movies that he ever came out with. It was very mm-hmm. funny. How about actually. his last line in The Night of the Museum too? Oh, yeah, I know. Oh. I know. Or three, whatever one it was he was in. I think it was two. No, know. it was three. What was I said? I don't remember if it was in three. It's been so long. Cause he's like, that's the best part. <laughs> that was the last line he said. Yeah, because the third one was the last uh, thing he filmed, like, in the yeah. you know, franchise and stuff. And that was closer to his time that he passed, too. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, on a happier note, well, eh. it's not really happy, but, you know, whatever, it's a different note. Uh, we're going to talk some anime. All right, babe. So, uh, uh, so Here comes this the bonus. news. Uh, the Spirited Away, Hayao Miyazaki. Uh, he unveils No Face's true identity. Uh, oh? Uh, bum, bum, bum. <coughs> Interesting. Uh, Nippon TV hosts a primetime movie block on Fridays called Kenyo Roadshow, which during the film, the network live tweeted details about the film, including stuff people don't normally know. Uh, so, who exactly is No Face? Uh, the director starts uh, there are many people like no face in our midst it's the type of person who wants to uh, latch on to others but doesn't have a sense of themselves they are everywhere so after decades we finally find out that the character represents those who have no sense of self or adopt new personalities to suit their surrounding they're adaptive so they're basically they're like a leeches. being that adapts to its surroundings. Mm. And it's it's what it did in the movie, you know, it adapted yeah. to the bathhouse. It got lazy, full of greed because of all the people that were in there. You know what I mean? It was it was a great way to... to... Penis. <laughs> I don't want that drink if it would save my life. I don't think you're going to be drinking it, bud. <laughs> yeah, I know where that's going. <laughs> so you got you to put the bowl back in there. <laughs> I do that all the time to Andy. I, do, I swear to God. Dude, I do. he handed me that thing. I've not, handed my uncle. Not, with I, nothing I, in it. And I, I, just, I just looked I'm at him. I've handed my uncle the bowl. I'm just like, here you go. I'll hold the ball. <laughs> See, I can't. I don't, I've never done that before. Yeah, I've done that. Crazy. Yeah, oh. hold on. Your lighter in my wallet. Oh. Just moved it back. Relax. You got a new thing? Yeah, I did he want to try it? Yeah. Um, so, I have a list here for some more anime stuff. Huh? I have a list. Of anime still? Of anime. Yeah, keep going. Of the most anticipated anime of 2020. Wow. You yeah. hear me? Can I guess is Bleach on that list? Yes. Yeah, is it number one? No. Oh, number two. There is no number tier list. All right. It's just a list of anime that is coming out within this year that are really anticipated. Probably for... Bleach, Solo Leveling. Shut up! Uh... Can you let me read the list? <laughs> oh, sorry, Stop God forbid. It I off. know something. God. God forbid I have hey, a brain. Li- li- yeah. At least he's You're going off script, Joe. Call he's not on. contributing. He's being an asshole. Because I'm right. Oh, wait, First you, off, the list solo leveling. <laughs> oh, 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 we at least would have let him try to name them all. That would have been hilarious. That would have been hilarious. I don't think that. I think there's like four on here. Maybe five. I don't think. Well, he named like three. Two. 
Go ahead, Joe. You know what? Name a couple. Oh, oh, no, oh, go no, ahead. No, 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 no. I know you know at least like three of these on uh, there for man. sure. All There's right. Dragon so you Ball said on Soul there? Leveling and Bleach. Black Clover, probably. No. No? Dragon Ball? Yes. Let's what? See. Which one? Super Season no. 2. No. Uh, is it a continuation of one? No. Whole new one? Yeah. Oh, this is that chibi one, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. You Fuck know what no. it's called? I forget. I know it's a chibi version of all the Dragon okay, Ball characters. Okay, I'll give it to you, though. You know what I'm talking about. All right, another one, go. <coughs> uh, one Piece? Yeah, okay, I'll give you that one. That's on there. Uh... Honestly, yeah, that's all I got. No, no way. We've talked about a couple other ones that are on here. I know uh, you know them. Come on. What's another one that hero? you're super excited for? Yes, My Hero. Uh, Give me another one. One more. One fairy more Tale 100 Year Quest? No. Uh, what did we just talk about, like, last week? Jujutsu Kaisen? No. No. That's 2027, bro. Berserk? No. Uh, Come on, one more. Just give me one more and you got dude, it. Dude, I got so many going through my head. I got so many. I know, just give me one more. What, like Tales of Wedding Rings? No! Uh, you failed. What's huge and numbered? A mecha? No! <laughs> huge and numbered! Talk about One Punch Man? Uh, no! <laughs> okay, here's another one. Just tell me. What is, uh, what do, what do they, they slay? I just gave it away. Goblin Slayer. Goblin no. Slayer, no. Oh. Hashira. Oh, oh, Demon Slayer. Oh, okay. I forgot the training arc. Yeah, the Hashira training arc. All right, I'm so I'm going to show off the list. So, still leveling. Called it. My Hero Academia <laughs> Season 7, I'm super excited for uh, here's the one I thought you were gonna get. Kaiju number eight. Oh, dude. Oh, fuck I forgot. You, dude. That fuck was you. one. I had so high hopes for That's you to get that one. That's the fucking, like, monster verse shit. Yeah, I'm yeah. So okay. Excited I'm excited for that shit. Uh, Demon Slayer, Hashira Training Arc. Uh, I don't know if you know this. Oshinoko, season two. Oshinoko? Yeah, I have no idea. Uh, Dragon Ball Daima. That's what that one's called. Uh, Bleach Thousand Year Blood War The Conflict. Uh, here's one I wouldn't even have known. It's called Lazarus, but it's, uh, an anime about this dude. Fuck, I already forgot. I was trying to remember it earlier. Uh, you have Uzumaki <coughs> from Naruto, but from that horror franchise that they make. Uh, it's all the creepy manga. I don't know if you guys have seen it. What? The Uzumaki, the creepy manga. Yeah. That's an anime that they're making now. Oh, okay. This year. That's gonna be pretty sick. Uh, Suicide, uh, Suicide Squad, uh, Isekai, uh, One Piece, yes, Egghead I Island. Can't wait for oh yeah, Squad. right. That looks sick. Dude. That's gonna be cool. Um, Metallic Rouge. Is uh, uh, one of them called Delicious in Dungeon? Delicious in the Dungeon and Dan to Dan Dan. I don't know how to say that. I feel like I, bo- Dan I botched Dan. it. Dan to Dan Dan, whatever. Blue Lock, fucking. But yeah, so that those are the list of the most anticipated of 2024 anime. I don't yeah, know why Dan, I said it that way. But I'm honestly, um, I'm looking forward to Bleach. Bleach is my all-time go-to. My hero, obviously, is like, without a question. Um, and then Demon Slayer. I'm probably going to go see the first episode that they're going to put out in theaters. They usually do that. Um... They usually play the last episode and then one new episode, which is the first episode in theaters. And that's pretty cool because it's usually like, because they're usually like a 45 minute. What? For Demon Slayer. Oh. They usually play the last episode. Yeah, the last, last episode. Season, and then the first, first episode, episode of the, of the new, season. new season. But it's like, because of how it's like, plays out, it plays out so much well with like, better on a, on a theater screen. Demon Slayer is mid. Sorry to tell you. It's alright. I mean, hey. It's good, yes, but it is yeah, such I won't a lie to you. It's, it's kind of mid. It is. You're not wrong. Because, like, I feel like Tanjiro and and company, they he's, just... He's such a baby. He is such a baby. They're just plowing through things like it's nothing. It's, I get that's, like, the general idea in anime, that the... The lone hero progressively gets stronger as time. I get that, 
But I feel like he's just mowing these mofos down like it's nothing. And these Bro. other mo- the, the, these guys that have been killing these demons and are Hashira, who are captains or leaders or whatever, have been doing this thing for years and decades, are dying and getting maimed left and right while this guy just keeps walking away as he's... No, come on now. You mean Michael Jackson? What about him? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah, he's the one that's walking away and getting away all the time. Right? Yeah, basically, he's fucking... Not even being touched. Not he's smooth the last criminal and down the fucking road, man. I swear to God. Until he turned into a child, which is questionable. That is very questionable. I don't know why he decided to do that. Michael Jackson to a child. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and then he snapped when he found out about someone can stand in the sun. <laughs> Alright, so... We can talk about some video Another games. anime. Oh, another anime? What? Yeah, Classroom of the Elite, shit's getting good. It's very adult-like anime. You just have to like, really think about what's going on because you have to pay attention to surroundings and you start picking up things. Okay. And the Season 3 dropped. Season 3, we're learning about Class B. Their leader is a uh, high-grade thief. Like We don't know what kind of thief, but we know she's a thief because there's a rumor going around that she's stealing shit. But we know she hasn't stolen anything in a long time. But we don't know what kind of thief she was. She could have been a hacker. She could have been a petty thief. Like, anything. Hmm. But it's uh, we have to put the puzzle together and figure out what kind of thief she was to determine her fate, basically. Hmm. So she gets expelled from school. There's Tales of Wedding Rings that came out. So that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, but that's definitely a, like, a man show. A guy show. It's four guys. Like, a guy fell in love with the princess that was in our world. She had to go back to her world to save it, follows through, and then he becomes the hero of their world and has to marry the five princesses to gain their powers to defeat the, like, evil darkness, whatever it is. Whole other, like, whole thing. Like, I've read the manga. That sounds complicated. He's in the process of fucking them all. And I'm like, all right, cool. Like, I know this happens, but I don't need to see it happen. That's great. He's already defeated the darkness, and he's, like, back in his world and everything. It's the whole thing. And then, uh, solo level in Josh. Mm. Dude. So uh, I need to watch the new episode yet. We're talking Ugh. about it right now. Dude. Bro, watching so him sit there, bawling his eyes out, talking about how he's okay with sacrificing himself, and then he's like, uh, I'm bullshitting myself. I want to live, too. Uh, yeah, he's like, I don't want to die. I was like, you little pussy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Could say anything. Loses his leg. To fight to get to the fucking angel. How'd you like yeah. that shield cut, dude? dude. The guy just right down the I fucking know, middle. Bro, I know. Ooh, ooh. Oh. Or when you just see the guy get up and just step on the dude singing. Yep. Dude, that dude praying. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Ugh. And then that fucking chick, dude. Like, dude, she just whoop, bam. Like, I mean, you just see her. She's like, she just looks up. Her face gets hit. Mm. It kind of just yeah, slows down and then mm. squish. I'm like, ooh, that was great. That's amazing. Dude, it was such a good shot, too, because it was like her, like you're here, like her midsection is like at the bottom of the camera ish. And she's like, she just looks up, whoo, bam. Just, I can't wait. Dude, it's, it's gnarly. It's and fucking then, uh, gnarly. Lifts his foot back up, it's just a pile of what was a human. Exactly. <laughs> well, at the end of it, though, to see the man pick up a sword, actually fucking deflect one of their yeah. attacks. Yeah. And then get. His arm completely severed off. Yep. Gone. Yep. Missing a and foot. Stabbed. Like and his then shoulders now separated from his body. His shoulder is much. off body, and they just pick, holding him up in the air, and then just go like that, and watch his body fall to this pedestal, and he's just lying there dead. Yep. And as he's about to die, everything I, I, goes black, and, and the screen, screen pops, pops up, up saying, "You've completed the secret quest, uh, Courage of the Week." Yeah. Do you want to become a player? If not, your heart will stop in the next zero point zero two seconds. Yep. And it, all you see is yes, and that's how it ends. Yep. And then tomorrow we get to meet the Tremors. Mm. See, and that's why I'm yeah, excited. Yeah, to... tomorrow. Yeah, yes. every Saturday. Uh, I think 11 a.m. is yeah, when it drops. I think Sweet. So. Sweet. I don't, I don't watch that before I go to bed. Sweet. <laughs> it's nice, it's nice to it's nice to like anime. Because it's like a, a Saturday morning cartoon kind of thing. Right, know? yeah, no, I feel that. I feel that, though. Just cartoons for the week. Cartoons for adults. Because <laughs> that is a very adult anime. <laughs> yes. That fucking dude in the beginning got swiped in half. 
Dude. <laughs> not having it. No. <laughs> Blue Exorcist season three is started. That is Blue fucking Exorcist is so, so good. great. It's so so great. good. Season three was a great. Start I was right all now. about it when it first came out. <laughs> it's the, Amber's all about it, dude. Amber, and uh, we want to see a. Uh, uh, I think what season three of Noragami, if you ever watched that. Mm-hmm. Oh, dude, that's a great one. It's about the gods, like Japanese gods. I've seen. I think I've seen. He's got blue it. eyes and shit. Yeah. He, was, he was considered a god in the past, but he was a god of war, and now he's trying to change his ways and mm. live in our world. The only way to live is he has to have a shrine built for him, and people praise him. If not, he'll just disappear. That's fucked. It's a great fucking show. It's fucking phenomenal. I love it. Watching how Shimigami. I think is what they're called, and they just change a whole new form and level up. Everything's crazy. Mm, it's beautiful. But, all right, you can continue your script over there. I don't have a script. What are you talking about? That notebook in hand. What notebook in my hand? Notebook in hand. No, 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 this is hand. This, this is all free ball. At least a comedy isn't scripted. You have the, you the paper, if papers, Russell? <laughs> I can definitely tell you the comedy isn't scripted at all. <laughs> all right. Uh, That's all. So I, I think we'll move comes. on to some video, some video games. Some yeah, video we're games. We're a bunch of idiots. We're a bunch of idiots. Power World, love it. You How far it too? are you? I only just like loaded the game. Basically. Me too. <laughs> I walked in the fucking door and I caught two of those little Pokemon bastards and I don't know what I'm doing yet. <laughs> I know. I'm just so excited to have fucking guns in a Pokemon game. I don't have a gun yet. How'd you get a gun? <laughs> I don't have a gun, but you do get them. Oh, okay. Because right now I'm using a pickaxe and a wooden club, and I was smacking the <laughs> fuck out of that fucking stupid yeah, ass. Yeah, I also found sheep. out apparently you can capture humans in yeah, it, too. You can. What? Yeah. Yo, no. Uh, yeah. Oh, man, can you I should have. Ca- just go into a battle and be like, yo. <laughs> I'm going to capture I'm a capture a guard, dude. I'm not that far. I'm already like level I choose eight. Fred. <laughs> well, um. Oh my god! I've been in there for weeks! I made a. I made us I a world. I pissed myself nine times. I made us a world. I don't know and where it went. I just started, you know, I customized a little bit because I wanted us to have faster XP so we could play and, like, actually enjoy the fucking game. But I want, if there's achievements, I you can't have that. No, I got achievement. Alright. Right. I got achievement. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. So, because when you capture a Pokemon. Not Pokemon. Whatever the fuck they Pals. are. But Your Pokemon. Pal. So when you capture one, you um not Pokemon, you get a pal. achievement. So call them Pokemon. It's gonna get fucking Nintendo. Listen, that's what the fuck this is. It's, no. it's 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 Ark with Pokeballs. <laughs> you leave it alone. <laughs> I'm gonna play this Minecraft Pokemon game. Yo, I'm enjoying the fuck out of it. Honestly, so far. I'm still waiting for a release date for Killing Floor Three. Right. Still waiting. For I can't that. wait. So are you in the in the rest of the skeletons in the closet? Uh, uh, I can't wait for the game. Game. Don't be rude, bitch, just because you don't like the fucking game. No, it is a fun game. It's just and you can even just it's like zombies over time. You just yeah. you get over exhausted from it. You know That's why I mean? you use different Thank class. You. I was gonna spice it up a little bit. Here. Here. It's the same thing with Call of Duty. You can spice up the class. It's just a matter of time until it sinks in that you played for five hours and you're like, damn, I need a break from Call of Duty. I'm gonna tell you right now, this is like it's Call fun. of Duty. Anyway, dude, like the shooting aspect of it, yeah, looks fucking insane. And the fact that we're all riding on little creatures into battle, I just can't wait. I can't wait for all of us to have some kind of weird ass fucking mount. Ride a fucking what... Pikachu in battle? No, you can't ride a Pikachu in the <laughs> battle. Okay, and it's not a Pikachu. It'd be one of them fat looking Electabuzz fucking things. You saw that thing yeah, that was sitting in the uh, hot tub? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, the fucking thing from. But, uh, no, you gotta ride like a pony. What the fuck is it? The the anime movie where Toro something? Oh yeah, my name was Totoro. Yeah, Totoro. Oh, that's who it was. Yeah. It looks like Totoro. Yeah, it's a big fat cat looking thing. Yeah, it does Literally, represent yeah. him a little bit. That's fucking a lot of resemblance. I'm honestly, <laughs> I like the chicken. The chicken thing looks stupid as hell, but funny. I caught that and the sheep. I got to catch the kitty cat. that's right there in the beginning when you first start, and then I got all three starters. Oh no, probably not gonna play. <laughs> You're a puss. Bro, you I'm gotta fucking us playing now. fucking Pokemon games. It's it ain't Pokemon. Pokemon. They have guns, dude. Ooh. Ooh. We're gonna be shooting them as a squad, and we can yeah, have a building, and we can guns, like Josh. survive. You like, can fucking use Minecraft. your violence in the it game. Doesn't sound Josh. like a game that I would play. <laughs> all right, all right. It's okay. When we're all streaming it, so you can watch us. 
One of the bit of news for no, us watch, I have today. I don't watch anybody um, else's fucking streams. You're all dicking. I watch Cody when he plays. I watched watch you in the past. Huh? I watched you. Yeah, but you never fucking stream, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't hear it. <laughs> yeah, we always just randomly stream. Well, at least I Whenever you guys are generally streaming, I'm sleeping. Because <laughs> I got to work. Or working. Or working. All right, watch me while you work, dickhead. No. <laughs> I gotta pay attention because I'm using the machine, you bitch. Um, shout out to Andy, but like, yo, what's good, bro? I'm at the Wally World. Yo, fuck that bitch, Andy. Hey. <laughs> shout out to store number what? <laughs> uh, one of the games that me and Joe plays, Overwatch. Yes. Andy plays a little bit of the devil's in him. Josh, fuck I know you. you're gonna be in that lonely little corner over yep. there. Of fuck off. Yep. And uh, too much going yeah. on with the screen. I fucking <laughs> honestly, it does. Honestly, bro, it does. He's not. You're not wrong. It, there is a lot going I on. I've watched Joe on. fucking play it. I've watched you fucking play it. I'm there's, good. There's I'm good. I'm not even gonna fucking attempt because I already just watching you guys play. I can't pay attention. To what the fuck <laughs> he's, is going he's on? Dude, it, gets, it gets frustrating. Well, we're getting all flabbergasted. Oh fuck gets, yeah! Dude. Imagine Man. being the big ass tank where you uh, basically oh, only thing you have is a shield to protect yourself. God damn it! Well, that, anyway, it's, it's overly competitive, and like I already hate the atmosphere yeah, of COD multiplayer where it's overly competitive. Well, so like any battle royale or like I, stage I like that I kind of. I don't play battle royale, so. <laughs> <laughs> Did you play? Did you play fucking I'm Warzone? S- no. Josh is strictly PVE. You never I, played I Warzone. Played, I played Blackout. That was the only real Warzone I played. Besides, I played like a couple things of Resurgence because that was fun because there's respawning in that. I like the respawn mode because hmm. I just hate dying and then like having you play thirty minutes into a match, you don't get anywhere, and then you fucking die. And then you got it now. You just wasted all that fucking time just to get second fucking place. Yeah, well, that's, <laughs> fuck that uh, shit. That's that happens fucking, a lot. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like for some people, they really enjoy that shit. More power to them. But for me personally, I am so sick and tired of the battle royale era of video games. I am so that's over. Fair it. Enough. Can we before. get a new fucking idea, please? Holy fuck! That's well, why I like DMZ. Okay, let's bring it back to where we were. Overwatch 2. Yeah, right. Sorry. That's okay. We're getting a little heated. Yeah, now. yeah. Sorry. My battle royale. I, I have I have video game news to talk about too because COD fucked up anyway. So. <laughs> when my don't my think. COD thing can lead into yours. It very well could. Uh, Overwatch 2 changes support players. Uh, uh, cha- Overwatch 2 has support players upset over the new self heal change. So tanks and damage can now self heal. So yeah, tanks. Really? All well, heroes are going to get the self healing heal. passive ability. That's crazy. Uh, even with two support wow. characters and hell packs around the map. That's kind of crazy. That's a little like OP. I mean, I've seen that's for all characters. Is that all just for tanks? All, all motherfuckers. Okay, so like at least it's fair across the board. Everybody's I, got it. He's choosing things. Everybody's got it. Exactly. Everybody's got it. What makes it sense of it is the fact that when battles happen and you lose the healers, you're not going to be able to get to the health pack because okay, they can crush the health pack. You I was say, let's let you guys talk about it because like you guys play. Honestly, I I do like the fact, but he's also kind of right with the fact that if they're running away and you're trying to do a team wipe and he gets away and he gets far enough away to be able to start healing, then you can't just one shot him when they're far away and stay where you need to be at. So it kind of sucks because you want to hit him before they get away so that you get that team wipe kill and like have that like oh yeah I fucking did it. Yeah, but at the same time, it makes it, in a sense, it's nice, because though. you have damaged characters that have now learned, like, not learned, but known, but just started picking up again to focus the healers. Once they focus healers, it's just a clean clean wipe. They want you to have that chance of survival. Yeah. Like, that's why I'm picking up out of this, because I like that, because I can't get to a health pack, because they already know where they're all at. They're going to be defending them bitches, right. so I can't be a, like. Now, you know, now you don't necessarily have to find a health pack. Yeah, I had now the opportunity can... just to run away. I and wonder come what back. the. Wait, wait, how fast is the healing That's speed? what I was about to bring up. How, how long do you have to be out of combat it's for? It's not much. Yeah. Like, yeah. is it five seconds out of combat? Is it the ten seconds out? there right now. They're still working. <laughs> we won't know until yeah. next season. Oh, you know, they got to okay. be really, really careful with that because, like, they have to make sure, like, when you're out of battle, they w- they got to be, like, you're 50 meters away from 
this area See, where everybody's at. Like no, 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 no. I think it's going to be time without getting hit. So if yeah. you're like five to ten seconds without getting well, hit, it's either that or they healing. give the players a bubble area. That's like, still too too soon. Feel like 10 seconds. I don't think so. The, the, the way, I think the that's way, what they're the going to end up I doing. Is, I is say like 20 seconds. The enemy characters, all characters in the game are going to have a bubble area of effect, quote unquote, that's invisible. Even 15. 15 huh? seconds sounds good. I mean, maybe maybe time, but I think it's got to be distance. And I think distance would be the smart thing well, to go by. Well, distance they can't do because... Yeah, because well, if, if each character... So mobile. I can hide. But if each character has a bubble... But if I'm hiding... How big is that bubble? Could be listen, 20 meters. Listen, listen. Do you understand how but, fucking... You, I, I get it. I, I you're not, but, you're not you know, Genji? If you're Genji, right? He's a little listen, ninja guy. It does, but he climbs it, oh, up a stop, building. Stop, stop. He knows the characters. He knows okay. the characters. Well, you climb up the top of a building. You're on top of a building. Everybody else is down there. Then the distance isn't going to work for you. But you want to heal because you're hiding. So that's well, not going to work. The bubble's not going to go all the way up. It's just a dome that's just in an area. I'm just stating this. Like, but this he, let's say he's right behind you behind a pillar. And then this is the edge of, of that area. Okay, and when but... you get out of that area, you start healing. And that would be from the closest character to you. When you're out of that area of effect, you're now healing. That's what I mean. And I think that would be the, actually the easiest way for them to conduct that into the game. But I don't think that's possible because of how mobile these characters are. Yeah, I mean, but if anything, that would, because of how be. mobile they are, that would be the smart thing to do. Because, uh, like, if if you're healing and all of a sudden you stop healing, or you're, oh shit, somebody's ten meters from me, you know, or, or ten feet from me. Well, that's also the then telling you that people are near you. That team. would make it hard too at the same time because you do have a character that goes invisible, so she could step in your bubble and fuck it up because you mean, can't see like, her. In games like fucking Halo, when you when your second player died, you wouldn't respond unless your guy was out of combat. Yeah. Like, how does it predict that you're out of combat? It has. There has to be some area of effect that your character is in for it to know that you're in an no, area. No, it's of this combat. time that you haven't been shot. That's how they did it. Are you like? Is it because I've they... sat in the same area and it still tells me that my my character cannot spawn because I'm still in combat. Well, when I did it, I or sat, somebody's still in combat. I whatever sat the case in a, may be. If they were still shooting, then you were like you were, whatever else. But that was only in Halo. I mean, but no, that was because even when I'd be like surrounded just by myself and I'd be shooting aimlessly around, people would probably so people were still like, able to so spawn. spawn. It's in. more or less the area of effect around NPCs, and that's what I mean. I think they use like an area of effect where it's like a dome around it, even if it's just. A flat fucking rectangle that's, you know, circle that's like this and it doesn't go up. It's still an area of effect that the character See, is a, in. That's what I mean by that mobility. That a lot, You got a lot of motherfuckers that are up there. Yeah, you but that's what have... I mean. For, for that, they, they're probably going to extend it or, upwards, too, like because Joseph, of, because of that. Bitch. You know, like Should if they were to do that, like thinking in, what is it, Titan, Titanfall? Like all the characters that you're running around on the fucking roofs and shit, like it's the same thing there. Like you would have to have an upwards area of effect as well as a wide area of effect for it to, to really work correctly. So I, I don't know how they're going to implement it, but I, I, I don't know, even know what the does. easiest way. That might be really complicated, honestly. Or maybe yeah, they're going to be like, say oh, Maybe that might be over their pay grade. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I just, I just think back to Halo and and how that works. Like, right. and even when you were shooting, people could still spawn there. But if they were, if you were being shot at, it wouldn't let you be, or if they were close to you, you couldn't spawn because you were in an area of combat. But if you were far enough away, i.e., an air, out of the area of effect, you could spawn. So I don't know, I don't know. But this is a really interesting concept, though, considering it wasn't in the game before, and they're going to add it. Right. That's a very interesting thing to add to a game. It is. How about a Smite 2? You see that? Oh, yes. Oh, my God, yes. Smite 2. Yes, I did see that. Did Smite 2 has been announced. The f yeah. It's just a rebut, like a better graphic of Smite 1, obviously. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's nothing, but like, incredible, but... It's a lot cleaner, mm -hmm. more clean cut than the first one. Like, yeah. I love seeing their actual actions in battle, not just them doing a move and that's I'm gonna it. kind of be excited too because you can actually read what everything's like gonna do for you because <laughs> like that's my biggest issue that's why I don't play Smite too much there's too many fucking things to, to pick mm -hmm. whatever you're selecting your shit 
and you can't read them all because you're just trying to be quick. I like, I'm going to ask him, I'm like, Joe, what's my build? <laughs> I'm just doing auto buy at this point. I'm like, yeah, auto buy. It'll just fill, fill in the void. <laughs> you just get what you need. And like, when I played Smite for, Smite for a little bit, it was it's basically League of Legends. Yep. It's this rep, the like the third party. Like, and you just don't. You just gotta learn what your character is. If you're a jungle character, then you stay in the jungle. If you're not, no. Nah, me and him played arena, so it's team deathmatch. <laughs> oh, so you weren't doing that? Okay, never mind. I always played. I didn't like, want to put Josh through that rough fucking oh, understanding shit. Well, of the c- game. Come on, man. That's how you play that game, though. Oh yeah, oh, it's definitely how you play that game, but. I mean, I guess Josh to come new into this game, it's going to be hard for him to do this without. It's kind of like Pokemon Unite. Yes, but Pokemon Unite isn't tower based. No. Point based. No, it's Pokemon based. We got to kill certain Pokemon for. Why did you call Kingdom Hearts three out earlier, bro? What's up with that? Actually, it was mine. I'm the one that came up with that because I'm a huge Zelda fan, and I remember a long time ago talking with someone that I was like, they were explaining Kingdom Hearts to me. And it was the light versus the dark, which is the same thing Zelda is. It's the light versus the dark. But that was it. That's the only thing. And it was funny because your name on Xbox is Sora Fan. So obviously you're a fan of Sora, so it was a hot take that would piss you off. You go fuck yourself. Why would you... <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking about and, 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 that. <laughs> I knew it was going to come up because I was sitting here thinking what about like, you bitch. Really and so my come at me earlier. Like, it's like you tell him Spider-Man sucks. And he's oh just gonna lose God. his fucking mind over there. Like, yeah, but that, yeah, but that one, that Spider-Man's one hits harder than Spider Man does. That one hits harder than Spider Man. I don't know, man. Doesn't deserve any rewards. Nah, it, des- it deserves Spider Man Two actor, or Spider Man Far from Home. Is not worth shit. No, I'm talking shit. about Spider Man Two, the video game. No, I'm just, not I'm just talking about you know that movie. Mm. That that movie. Which one? Far from Home. What about it? Not worth shit. It's the uh, least of the favorite, but I love Far From Home because it has Mysterio in it. I love Mysterio. It's a new villain. It's not a repetitive villain. Right? Yeah, I agree. Dude, he was great. And then, like, how oh, he's just the only... Out of that one, brother. The only Whew. acceptable repetitive yeah. character I would ex- take right yeah, now... Yeah, I'll Scooby Snacks Sandman. out of that one. Look at my fucking leg. <laughs> hey, man. Oh, bro. I can get behind that. I, he Save would be the pieces. only one that I would like to see again in another movie. I'm a broke-ass bitch right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He was a great next villain time, in three. Please, please bring and he had like such one, a please, great everyone. upcoming and understanding of how his and character became. I, I don't became. care. I do the whole la 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 la. It was just. We could just definitely get a new iteration of him now. I'm excited to get a new iteration. How about Venom three? Sorry, we're going off topic here. You see yeah, that? We're talking about video games. I know. Sorry, we're going yeah, off topic. Bro. But I also yeah, wanted to go back to video games because my man had something, but I wanted to go to Call of Duty. So uh, we'll get we'll get back into it. Uh, Call, of Call of Duty adds two You're new the, the boys characters, a train, and a season four newcomer, Firecracker. Yeah. While also adding Temp B onto the map, allowing players to gain superpowers for a brief time. The packs are available January seventeenth, which was two days ago. Yes. And so, so they also buy a train? they also no no I don't I haven't even watched the boys actually so you would love the shit I right? know oh, I know that's what I keep hearing I just I don't like I, I don't have the want right now to watch it I'm like superheroed out because Marvel's fucked me in my ass for too goddamn long and I'm just like kind of like Pfft. you know what I mean so anyway um so COD also uh, announced that they will be coming out with a Warzone slash DMZ like game mode. Now, I do not know the details of it, so I don't know exactly what that entails, but DMZ was literally Warzone with more loot and less players, so I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know if there's going to be a happy a happy medium between Warzone and DMZ. Like, it's going to be, like, 60 players instead of 40 players like DMZ, or if it's going to be, like, 80 players and be more like Warzone. Yeah. I don't know. But uh, they also released an update recently that completely fucked the game horribly. You couldn't yeah. even get past the main menu screen to, like, actually enter the game. And then if you could get past that, which it would start flashing and basically give you a seizure. Oh, so if you had epilepsy, good luck on you. Right. I mean, then, <laughs> uh, play and then, um, anyway, but right. And then, then uh, um, you definitely should play. If you got into the game and you were able Flashback to get into a war zone you. game, <sighs> don't go for your loadout. Your 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 uh, that loadout your drop. Loadout, yeah, yeah, right. Because it will fucking freeze and start flashing its screen at, again at you. 
Oh yeah, like it's all, like a predator having his fucking display issue. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, terrible. Yeah. Did and you experience it? I did these? not. I just recently saw a video on it, and it was like uploaded two hours like ago when I watched it. Okay, so I was so like, how they re- recently? They did. They did release a hot fix for it. They did not release that Warzone game mode, but ranked play has been there for a few days. By the way, if you are interested in ranked play for Call of Duty, I am not. Everybody on there is a sweat. In regular, I can only imagine what it's going to be in ranked. Yeah. <laughs> I was playing Rust today, and it was not a good fucking time. Well, Although I did drop 53 kills on there. So I'm going to tell you right it. now, Rust is definitely not going to be a good map anytime. Because it never was, unless you were really good at sniping and you were only doing sniping. It, it was, it's just regular. It's, yeah. not, it's not always sniping. Like yeah, which... Sucks because we do. If, if we, when we do, when we've been playing a lot of private matches. Then we do sniping, and that's yeah. a lot of fun. Yeah, free for a lot of fun. Yeah, you jump off Fuck. the top, spin, and try oh, yeah. to kill somebody for your final kill. That was always our final kill, so everybody could catch up. You had to jump off the top, three sixty, and then shoot somebody. Yep. If you did that, then that was the winning kill every time. Every single time. Yeah, we did that. That was great. It was a good time. It, it actually so like. You know how, like, I talk about, like, video games feel like they've lost that, that something, like, I don't know what it is, but it's like that, like, it doesn't, like, grab you anymore, like the older games did, right? Mm-hmm. Well, I will say that playing private match with my uncles, both my uncles, our buddy James, uh, and my buddy Mike, his son, and another guy that I know from work, um, it was like playing in 2006 when Modern Warfare 2 dropped, um, it felt so good. It felt like it should to play a game. Even though I was getting frustrated whenever I died, you know, or got shot in the back or whatever, like you would generally. And you know there was cheating involved in it. Oh, a thousand percent. You know, James had plays. his fucking walls on, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody he plays was. fair. But you like got FMJ it, on your gun. But like it felt good to do that. Like it actually was like this is COD as I remember it. This is fun. Call of Duty, yeah. and it was cool. It was really cool. That's all I got for Modern Warfare Three, though. Everything else about COD sucks, except for zombies. Zombies is semi decent. That's pretty usual. Yeah. Okay. I mean, the campaign's decent. Uh, not Modern Warfare Three. It's not. It's not. Got a couple it's little more things here long. to let uh to send off with before we do our just all in general TED review. For the Ted series. We're gonna do the oh, Ted yes, yeah, that's going to be a slightly big segment since we've all watched yeah, it. Yeah, um, so I'm going to skim through these pretty quickly. The new Indiana Jones and the Great Circle. The yes. new Xbox exclusive. Yes. Huge, huge, game huge. Great. Game Did you see the trailer? Yes. Yeah, Shit really looks awesome. fucking it awesome. Looks amazing. Dude, the, the whip, the whip looks fucking cool as fuck. He's just whipping motherfuckers and shooting them. With the Nazis, bro. Um, the coolest around. thing about this is that he looks like Harrison Ford. Yes, like but identical. It, it, it sounds is like him. Troy Baker is the voice. Is the voice very cool? And let me tell you, it, when you see his face, I can't see it. Yep. But when I don't see his face, I hear it, and I'm like, I'm here for it. Yeah. Like it's just because when I see his face, I see Harrison Ford. Right. I don't see. Indiana Jones. I see my fucking Harrison Ford. Right. And I obviously know what he sounded like at this era. And age, yeah. And his age. Yep. And I know that he didn't sound like that. And this game, dude, this game's got to hit. It has to hit. It has to be a triple A huge hit. It, it has to be. Or, or Xbox is going to not be good. It's going to be hurting pretty bad. If the graphics fails. look really good. It looks awesome. The mechanics behind the game look pretty decent. Yes, it looks do. like you have the opportunity to go between third person and first person. You do. You do. It's a first and third person. Cool. That's pretty game. awesome. Yeah. It looks like I GTA. Would definitely... GTA was like that. Well, I didn't like it in GTA. I didn't either. I don't... The movement is meant it's for third person. Right. I just what, think GTA? it's good yeah. Bit. yeah. Like, I don't, yeah. like, like, I don't, it would have been like Years of War in first person. It's yeah. just not right. I mm-hmm. really wanted that, but then in the same token, you couldn't wall bounce. No. You, no. Dude, and I was a I mean. wall, like, you're I was wall, a you wall bouncing. Wall bouncing. We all were. That's how you survive in that fucking game, bro. No. Wall bouncing. Gears of War 2, I had that shit knocked. Well, yeah, bro. We're fucking ding, 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 I was ding, all ding, over ding, the ding, fucking ding. bitch. Oh, yeah. 
I got so many kills. That's another game that they need to bring back and give us what we fucking want about it. <laughs> like, well, I mean, they did pretty good on I, four. Four was decent. Did not like five. I'm with I you. Still on actually five. haven't beat it. I didn't really like Judgment. No, I didn't like Judgment. I, either. I love two. I One, love two, three. three. One, two, three were amazing. One, I really didn't care for that much. Really? Honestly, two and three were the ones that really fucking were like... Yeah, well, two two really grabbed you. That story was so heartfelt. And then three... Oh, three is where men cried. Maria! Maria! <laughs> oh, my man. I can shed a tear for that man right now. Bro, I felt it for him. Yeah, we all did, bro. That's when what men finally, fucking cried, bro. When he bro. finally found her. Oof. Oof. My man was gone. Oh. Gone. Is this what you want, Maria? Is this what you want? Oh. <laughs> Listen, man. Whoever wrote that script, they were cooking. Yo, dude, for yeah, real. Somebody had they some were, serious. <laughs> they were going through some shit. Yo, they were. They dude. were like, yo, we're gonna fuck. You we're think? gonna traumatize some fucking gamers, you bro. Think? And then so the fucking. We're, we're all like eleven you know years old. Going, oh my fucking god! What 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 made me Maria! think that happened? <laughs> was the fact that we didn't kill Carmine, so they had to kill somebody. Yeah, they had to. So they chose. Fucking Dom. Well, no, not even just that. They chose fucking two of them that game because that was where fucking Ty died too, wasn't it? No, it was Ty, three? Ty, Ty no, died two. Two. Was it two? Yeah, it was two. He was. They were taking the locust ship back, or the locust like carrier thing back that was underground. Mm. Somebody else died in three though. Um, because that was when you went to the the oil uh thing, right? Well, that was when you went to the big the big field and the big the big died. giant like trucks. Right? No, I don't think anyone else died because nobody else was really important to me. Because somebody got, <laughs> somebody got taken and then he shot he he took his own life. He blew his fucking head off. That was in the third one, right? I don't think so. No, maybe that was the fourth one. Maybe that was Judgment was? Day. No, uh, that, uh, no, not judgment. That was the Baird storyline. Or uh, yeah, maybe that was, was uh, maybe that was Gears Four. Maybe it was. Yeah, because Gears Four, they were uh, running on like where maybe. the the plane was. They just got off the the chopper, and he did it. Wasn't it? It was four. Four, you were doing a lot with the chopper. Yeah, it was four. You have Nash that was killed by Nash. Yep. Uh, killed by. Polypus, P O L Y P S. Oh wait, no, 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 no. That's all. I'm. That's no. It's not. No. Yeah, Quentin Michelson killed by the Lambin when they stormed the ship. Ship off screen by that Michonne. Been, that would have been four. This is all three. Oh, that would have. Oh, that was three. Okay. This is everything I'm telling you is three. So you're looking for a guy that shot himself. Yeah. Yeah. You got Jinx. Jinx's arm was ripped off by a locust drone. Oh, I remember that. I remember that, that scene. So. Yeah, these are people I didn't really give a fuck about. Yeah, the only yeah so yeah, there Dominic. wasn't that many. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, I don't think he was an important character then. Nobody shot themselves. Either. Maybe that was two. Or four. Well, if you're thinking that's two, thinking. that was Ty who blew out his own brains with a shotgun. Yeah, Ty. Ty did that too. Ty shot his head with a Nash shotgun after he was tortured by the Locust. Yeah. Yeah, so it was Ty. That was too, I guess. And they really... It's been so long since I've played it. I did not realize that that game was like so many fucking like uh, then, levels know, traversed and I'm like, dude, wow, that was really one game. Benjamin Carmine got eaten. Uh, that's right. That was so uh, that's right. That was Carmine, when bro. that was when games were fucking good and there was actual fucking level development and fucking yeah, that's also when Anthony died. Carmine got sniped in the head. That's when Maria died too. You're just not playing the right games Gears these two. days, my friend. <laughs> You're too busy playing Call yeah. of Duty. She was dead in Gears too. They found. I her just need well, like lives. some fresh fucking that's why, racing content. That's not. That's why he's the, thinking it the way that he's thinking. And not the need for speed like unless it's actually a good need yeah. for speed. You know, you know why you're thinking what you're thinking. Two and three really do flow together because yeah. Don finds out she's dead in mm-hmm. two. Mm-hmm. That's when he goes off and he is like by himself. Yeah, and he yeah, gets yeah. he gets all like fucking bearded and whatever yep. else mentally whatever. Marcus calls him in. He comes back just because of Marcus, and they go do the shit. And mm-hmm. then he just 
He wants to save everybody. He wants to do something that he's going to feel like he has a good way to go out on. And that's what he felt like he could do at that moment to save everybody else instead of them all dying. So Yeah. Oh, yeah? Huh? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and for the podcast viewers, that was a fart. Cut that part out. <laughs> now we're going to leave it in. We're going to reverb it. That was vulgar. <laughs> <laughs> we're just going to set it off where that's our now sound system. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, dude, Gears War, Gears of War Four had Gary Carmine's death. <laughs> yeah, that's our uncle. Like Carmine, it crushed, or... crushed D Bot's yeah. pod when it crushed into the tower. Crashed into the tower he was standing in. Yeah, that's the fucked up part. Is they killed their uncle. They killed the two brothers. This... Didn't kill Clayton. Hold on. And we don't know who the fourth brother is, and it starts with a it's, D. It's no, it's not a fourth brother. It's a sister. Elizabeth Lizzie Carmine died when the Hammer of Dawn destroyed her vehicle while sta- while she stayed trapped inside Gears Five. Of course, it was a game I didn't play. Yep, I, it's played, right, I, played, I didn't get that. I know, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Here, I know exactly, who I know exactly what you're talking about. They didn't have any kind of talking about who that bitch was at all. No one well, gave a fuck about gonna, her. I'm about to go home and watch the gameplay, like the the uh, the the in-game. Stab oh, that pisses me off. Just to get they the never mentioned through. that because the fourth brothers, it, they said so, and they had a whole thing about it. It was supposed to start with a fucking D, and we don't know who the fir- fourth brother is, or that's what their dad's well, name was. Yo, man, why are they just killing that whole family though? Because Carmine, Carmine was so actually like, the yeah, clone. No, but still, yeah, Carmine's the clone. That's why all the cog troop, all the cog clone. troopers are based off of Carmine. They didn't have to. They didn't have to do that. Yeah, that's why they're always like. What do you like, mean? Why He's like so a stormtrooper. What are you fucking talking they about? Do Yo, dude, he was. He is a shit. That's why they use so many of them. Yeah. Yeah. They they were also very easily expendable too. I don't know how Clayton became what Clayton became. That motherfucker. Well, if they didn't use him as the one that they probably should have used, yeah. they used, like, Anthony Carmine, who was <laughs> the weakest brother yeah, out of oh all of them. Oh, my God, bro, for real? <laughs> Benjamin was at least somewhat smarter than Anthony. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's just uh, get right gloom? into it. Let's, review... let's fucking gloom, bro. I'm sorry. Let's review That's the series on Peacock. That's pineapple. Yes. The one on Peacock? The cat. The cat. The cat. The cat. We're reviewing oh, Ted. Ted. The comedy series. Which, season one. by the way, yeah. we're going around and making sure everybody knows it's the cat. The cat. The cat. And people look at us funny. And I don't give a fuck from now on. That's how I'm saying it. Because that's just the cat. It's the cat. It's the cat. So, it's like uh, a chapter. Again, I don't give a fuck. I recommended that you guys have watched it. I watched it. You watched guys it. Watched it. What did you guys think? I fucking loved it. I loved every episode. I thought every episode was fucking hilarious in its own way. Where I was laughing by myself. It, yeah, time. dude. Like I actually like laughed out loud like by myself. Me too. Yeah. Like, it was. It was truly, dude, truly I almost funny. Nearly pissed my pants when Ted goes running out of the room because he got caught smoking weed. Or was outside and somehow ends up on the roof. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Climb the gutter. I will say, climb the gutter. For for some people of yeah, it comes down eventually. No, Johnny's just gonna throw me food up here. For for the older generation, quote unquote, it may be a little progressive for them with some things, but otherwise, I think it's I think it's absolutely a fucking hit comedy series, and I think it's here to stay for a while. I think we're gonna get a season two and a. And three if season two does extraordinarily well. I see what you're saying about the progr- progressive thing, but yeah. like, I like the fact that they took it and they made the jokes with it. Oh yeah, no, absolutely, one hundred percent. I love what they did with it. Mm-hmm. It's just how it's just putting the issue on screen. People are well, already well, sick and tired well, of it, right? And they're looking at that as just just putting the issue on screen is now progressive because of how forced it's been and how ridiculous it's been. For so long now, so even putting the issue on screen, people are like, "Oh, it's progressive as fuck." The, uh, <laughs> the truck being a power bottom. Yeah, yeah, being a power bottom. <laughs> that was just fucked up. That was so funny. He's like, "I like men. <laughs> I, like <laughs> I want to do to men what you do to women." <laughs> All right, so you're a gay. <laughs> and uh, does anybody have a favorite episode? 
Ooh. our favorite moment. Ooh. 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 Wow, Jesus, we've already talked about this a little bit. When he tears apart the high school girl. That was a that was Dude, grade yeah, a. that was fucking awesome. That was that grade was A. That, that bitch was ready a. to cry. No. Cry. A. She was ready to kill her. Honestly, though. I, I no. think I think it, but it's over a few episodes is them fucking with Clive. Making him feel like his dad was was oh, around. Dude, no, that was so, so fucking funny. So and then they became uh, and like, like an you're we're so proud. You felt real good about that. He clicked his fucking heels, dude. I fucking died. <laughs> <laughs> fucking died, dude. It was it's so good. goddamn and then funny. They paid that fucking mall security. Oh guy. yeah, dude. Yeah, the mall security. And guy. the fucked up part was they were trying. We're good to, here. We're good here. <laughs> they were trying to steal like a whole game system. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yo, trying to steal a whole Sega, man. Dude, that was great, dude. That was that whole that whole setup into that was just so fucking great. Oh, it was wonderful. It was it was absolutely wonderful. I I loved it. I loved how they did it. everything. Nah, they the did was so teacher. meticulously done and like smart. Mm-hmm. Like it, like that's what that that's what attracts me to a show is if it's done like intelligently. Mm-hmm. Like it's not just kind of like. Here's a show for you. I, I like I when the high school teacher started fucking losing his goddamn mind. Yo, yeah, high school yo. teacher. When, when she yo, said, he's just nah, like, he's like, about like my wife left me two weeks ago. <laughs> and you know, I thought having a boner would be more important than looking her in the eye. Yeah. But I'm, all of a sudden, eye contact's more important <laughs> than having a boner. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? She's <laughs> fucking her fitness instructor or some shit. He's all the... Dude, that was so and of course, he likes funny. to make eye contact. Yeah, and, <laughs> and have, have a boner. <laughs> and have a boner. But some of us can't have both. Why am I wearing my dad's pants? Because I moved back in my mom's house. Because <laughs> she kicked me out of the house. I mean, dude... It's and just, I can't it's jerk off in my room. Comedy. It's raw comedy. I can't it's jerk off in my room. I gotta jerk off at the toilet. Because nobody wants... What's his name? What, what is, what's his name? Something sperm. Yeah. I Mr. Remember. Sperm yeah. or whatever. And I was just like, dude, this guy is serious right now. And the principal walks in. He's still going. And he's yeah. like... Then he's like, reach... Uh, page blah, 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 blah. And then he's like, I don't oh, fucking fuck care. He gives a shit. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, yeah, fuck him all <laughs> off. Dude, awesome. We'll find awesome. you. Everybody, please go home <laughs> to deal with your emotional trauma. Yeah. Your I think mo- you guys have been traumatized enough today. <laughs> right. Back then, they were okay just saying that shit. And nowadays, people are like, trauma, trauma. Yeah, no. But motherfuckers like, it's okay. You had some trauma, just go home. It'll be yeah. fine. Yeah, we'll see fine. you later. All right? You go home, play some video games. Pretend like this never fucking happened. That's right. Oh, by the way, your teacher's a pedophile. And we didn't actually do a background check. But that's fine. <laughs> no. Enjoy that. Jesus. Uh, I uh, I think my favorite one was uh, when he had to go get his prostate. <laughs> oh, I want to know about my story at nine. His Vietnam Oh my fucking god! I dude. think that's my favorite. That was a great fucking. To you, episode. sir. Because that I think that was only episode two. <laughs> that hooked me in right away. Oh uh, yeah, dude. Uh, the my favorite part was where he pays her to sit underneath the gurney to go in there with him. Yeah, oh. and she's listening to so him. What the doctor oh, oh. say? Yeah, oh, and the doctor God. talks about how he actually likes to do this. Yeah, like, he's yeah. like, yeah, I actually, actually really like to do. This. Yeah, I really get off on this. Yeah, it's so funny. And then they're all making fun of his hairy dick. Yeah. They're making fun of a lot of things, though. Do you see his ass? Dude, Who the asshole looks like this? Like, I don't know. They, this poor guy, man. And she's just down there like... Dude, I mean, it was wonderful. And then to hear <laughs> the secret that he was trying to keep secret. Oh, my God. Jerking off the dog. He jerked off the dog. Yo, that dog saved platoon. a lot of us men. Uh, they would have lost so many men. Without jerking that dog off, Without jerking that so dog off, that man did a national yeah. service. That was he, fucking weird. He should have got the purple heart. You'd be heart. speaking Vietnamese if it wasn't for that man he right He should have got the purple heart. I don't know what <laughs> The highest yeah. of honors. Even though he didn't die, he should have got it anyway. Then he should have got to shake the president's hand. I don't even understand why he didn't. <laughs> Jerk that dog off the same world. Oh, no, uh, this, isn't a, uh, this was a really fucked up part. 
When uh, Ted had the uh, Sylvester Stallone mouth guard. Oh, yeah, and he's like... And he put oh, it in his mouth. That uh, was so gross. I, I can feel it. I can feel him. <laughs> I <laughs> wanted right. to, like... I know, I wanted to, like, crawl out like, of my skin. I'm going to sleep with this on. Oh. I'm going to sleep with this on. I'm going to sleep with this on. No, 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 no. I'm like, let, nah, you can go to the fucking curb, bro. Fuck, yeah. Let, let, let's get this straight. It. Let's get this straight. When he's picking out the condom at the store. And that guy's oh like, I've waited so long. I've waited. Years. I've watched you for so long. And I thought and you would I, already have done this by now. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is this? And then he's like, stranger danger. And he's like, yeah. give him money and tells him to go away. And the other oh, guy dude. comes up. Running the porno. Running the porno. Oh, my God. Oh, the my porno God, dude. Episode, dude. And then the mom watching Yo, it, dude. And she was mom. like, I think, I think he likes to watch these. Do you like to do those things? <laughs> Telling the priest about it, and the priest wanted no more information. He's like, oh, dude, wait, that never priest mind. is a freak. Yo, bro. Bro. Uh, He was all about it. Oh, my God, when Ted thought he was, oh, he's claiming to be Jesus. Oh, dude. Uh, hey, can you skip to like, the spell oh, section? Maybe Jesus. Yo, he's in the fucking Bible. He's like, can you just get to the spell section? <laughs> Yo. Yo. Fucking awesome, so dude. He's like, thank God you're that welcome. That is so fucking awesome. I think that one was a good one. Dude, that was so great. I honestly, I can't even pick a favorite episode. <laughs> I can't. They were all like, so fucking funny. He said, there was a star in the sky that shined brightly over me. And then they were both like, yeah, no, no, well, there's that, a star that, there. Yeah, that happened. That I, happened. That I'm that Jesus. I'm fucking Jesus. He's like, well, no. Jesus said he would spread love all over. Oh, my God. Dude, I when, love when they're, you. When they're at, when, what now, yeah, motherfucker? Yeah, dude. Oh my god! <laughs> your, your move, you're sir. Move, child eater. <laughs> yeah, dude. They wonder at dinner and he's saying grace oh or whatever, and he's like, god. "You're welcome." Exactly. <laughs> you're right. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> it was nothing really. <laughs> <laughs> oh my uh, fucking that was god, a good dude. Episode. Oh, dude, Seth MacFarlane is a fucking genius. He is just. Fucking, you know, so fucking funny. Part of the thing is sometimes I just picture Peter Griffin. I know it's I know it's hard to like not, but I do because I've watched so much Family Guy that I just picture him when I hear it. I know it's Comedy Central, and I know that that's Fox, but I think it would be great if we had a Family Guy South Park crossover. I no, think. South Park's Paramount now, though. No, it's still on, on Comedy Central, though. Yeah, and no, HBO yeah but Comedy Central. Oh, As, and HBO Max Paramount. has the show. Paramount, Paramount has the rights to the uh, characters, the, 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 the specials. That's all they have on there is the specials. The show's still on HBO Max, though. That's crazy. Because Paramount's the one that put in for the specials. Because yeah, they're supposed just... to put out nine specials with Paramount. Yeah. They, so. That's that new game that's coming out that they were going to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've yeah, added yeah, on yeah. into that, like, whole debacle. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I mean, yep, they'd yep, be yep. kind of cool, but, like, the animations are so... Well, they're different, for sure. No, I don't like the new animation. Well, they're for... so, they're so the off. newest game that they're coming out with. It's like oh, yeah, no. Style. Well, I wasn't even talking about the game. Different. I'm talking about the, the shows do have very yeah. different animation styles. You're right. But I think they can make it work. I think so. I, I mean, mean, literally, was, they did was, it with The Simpsons, and The Simpsons are two are, are different too. Like Even though they're close, Simpsons but they are different. And like the King of the Hill. Yeah. And like. God uh, damn it, Bobby! God damn it, Bobby! They, the they've piece. done a crossover. <laughs> both of them. Yeah. And they did a crossover with American Dad too. and Futurama. And Futurama. So but like, like and granted, yeah, they're close. They're 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 relatively close to the same cartoon style, but. That doesn't mean that they can't have two different cartoon styles on the same screen. No, no, you're right, you're right. But you know like, I mean? it just depends on where they're at. I think it would be really funny to see Peter Griffin walk through South Park and judge South Park and see the boys see him and say, who the fuck is talking shit because he's from fucking Rhode Island. Or or Stewie goes up to him and starts And he goes to Skeeter's Bar because they that's their, that's their Stewie version of the Drunken Clan. constantly do like tests on Kenny to see why he keeps coming back alive. 
Because he's Mysterion! He makes, <laughs> he's making clones of Kennys and makes an army of Kennys to I mean, take over South yeah, Park. You know, we have a lot of episodes here that we can come up with if we just sat here and got a little more hot. Oh my god. No, no, for real <laughs> though, we just got a like, I, I have legitimately have do thought that. of a plot for multiple South Park episodes. Tally has to be in it. It's so easy to do. <laughs> And, like it's Wade. not it, like at, that is not a shot at those guys at Trey and, and Matt at all. They made yeah, no, they phenomenal make fucking episodes. Every yeah. single episode, there's not a bad episode of South Park. It's like if you took I, I, I really honestly, of Family Guy I've watched every single episode from season. every season, yeah. and at least at least every episode is one moment that has made me laugh. There has never been one episode that hasn't made me laugh. There's one that I don't like a lot, and I think that's the. Uh, Craig and Tweak episode. Oh, the one where they fall in love. Yeah. Or the or, where they, they where they do the the, they do the, the drawings the and drawings shit. And I, I was fucking funny as hell. Stupid. I was laughing my ass off that whole episode. Carter it was funny as shit. Yeah. He's like, you got a bass guitar. Yeah. And he's like, no, I don't. He's like, you have one in your basement. He's like, no, I don't. He comes back to Cartman's house with the bass guitar and a fucking like a sub. And he's like, he's oh, like, you, Token, you you're black, you play bass. He's like, I've never, he's like, I've never played bass before. He's like, Token, just play. Just play. And he starts playing, and he's like, and he's like oh, All right, shit. fuck you. <laughs> I hate you so much, Cartman. But like, it, but you know, like, it, it's just like they, they are fucking geniuses, them too, and. Like, I'm not saying that I can come up with a better episode. I just say that I can come up with a funny episode. Which is what they want. They want a funny fucking episode. But they use realistic <coughs> issues. Which, I can make up some some episodes based off of realistic issues. Yeah, I get what you're saying but, too. But, like, some of these funny ones would just be funny. They don't have to be off of, like, anything going on currently. They could just be a that, funny episode. That would be... That would be off topic of what they're currently doing right now, especially since it's all continuity based right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I guess you're right. So that's why that's why it kind of changes things. If you're trying to stick with, if you were going back to pri- uh, past or uh, yeah, prior to season sixteen, then or season it could just 18, be a special was, episode. Then it would just be a regular uh, or a, 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 you know a regular episode where Kenny dies and everything's normal. Like, I, fuck, I think my buddy was like, I haven't watched South Park since, like, season four. Does Kenny still die every episode? And I'm like, no. <laughs> they stopped doing that in, like, season seven, I think. Season which kind of sucks, because that was half the reason why I watched it. I was just wondering how this man was going to fucking die. I mean, yeah, but, I mean, he like... He still dies He a still lot. dies a lot, but it's not every episode anymore. And, honestly, I'm okay with that, because he still, well, he still plays also quite a big part. they introduced so many new characters. So many new characters, and it's awesome. Ounce, like, there's I'm, literally. I, I will say though, of people. I am waiting for Principal Victoria to come back, and I don't know why she left. I don't know if that was a whole thing for the person voice acting for her, or what. Because because she came back, she came back to talk to Garrison, but yeah. then she was gone again, and hasn't been back Fuck you, since. PC Fucking PC principles. <laughs> Dude, my favorite <laughs> shit is when <laughs> he he when Timmy does the fucking yeah. the news no not Timmy Jimmy when he, does the newspaper. When he newspaper. says retard in the newspaper. When he says retard yeah, in the and newspaper. He's like, I'm gonna break his fucking leg. Break his fucking leg. <laughs> he's like, so you're gonna he break his leg, PC principal? Like, <laughs> what are you gonna do, PC principal? You gonna break his legs? <laughs> Like the fuck, and he just looked at him, and he's just aghast. He has uh, no he's idea. Like, uh, <laughs> he's just looking at the guy. I'm like, oh my god, wonderful, dude. dude I, I are you mean, gonna break his? Are you gonna break his legs, PC principal? Like it's so fucking great, dude. Oh my god. But those dude. are like that's some shit though. Like that's some ridiculous ass situation that somebody gets. I'm into. not here to talk about my transition. <laughs> I'm here to roll up all the other women and smoke them. <laughs> The strong woman episode, the strong woman competition. Like that is one of my absolute that favorite is episodes. An episode. Yeah, it is one of my absolute favorite episodes. That and whenever they mention the whites, the fa- the white family. Oh my god, nobody ever cares about what the whites say. <laughs> I love, I love the episode when uh, uh, Stan Stan and his family don't realize that. Tolkien's name is Tormund. Oh, Tolkien? Tolkien. Yeah, because it's Tolkien. It's Tolkien. Yeah. Yo, I and hated it, yo, when they started doing that yeah, but shit, If too. you go back, if you go back some episodes, his name is spelled Tolkien. Tolkien. And there are I've some seen, episodes where some. it is Tolkien. 
They're, so it's it's on them. They fucked up. I think it's because they didn't really realize which one they were doing. Well, not only that, but that was so long ago. They probably never thought they were going to do a continuity-based fucking season. Honestly. Let alone have it going for, what, eight seasons? Almost, if not. Like, what did they... They started on... I'm pretty sure it was, like, season 16 or 17 is when the continuity-based stuff started. Mm -hmm. And then now they're on season 26, 27? 27. Yeah. Fucking crazy. That's insane. And but they are only doing special, like six so. to eight episodes. Yeah, it's only a like the last one was like eight or ten. Yeah, and then they're doing the special. But then they got the that. specials. And yeah, then they're working the on the games. Funny. Oh my god. Dude. But they're not doing it forever. And I Kangaroos. have a feeling that South Park is going to be coming special, to an end very soon. I think it's still the first co- the COVID and. Uh, Post COVID, the, <laughs> the return of COVID. My favorite, my favorite special has got to be the one where they're all where they're grown up, where they're like forty, it's forty years yeah, or post whatever. COVID. Yeah, the post COVID, and because Cartman's hiding his family in the attic of the church, dude, like oh like Kyle's God, a fucking dude. Nazi. That was the racist. That was the funniest shit fucking I've shit ever, seen. ever, dude. They hide up here. Kyle's coming. <laughs> Literally married a He's whole doing this to ass fuck with me. Yeah, family, dude. Dude, that was the funniest. And then they're shit all looking the at. I'm like, yo, like, y'all see this shit, right? Like, dude married a whole fucking Jew woman, had Jew babies, just to fuck with with Kyle. I honestly believe, I honestly believe that's what it was. Oh, that's what There's no other reason. There's no no other reason. No other reason. There's no other reason Carmen would do that. This man knew, or unless he paid these people to act like that. No, it's fucking not your wife. (laughs) Oh, my God. There's no, there's no fucking way. All right, so that'll be the episode, ladies and gentlemen. We're cutting it. Mr. Cheese snacking over there. Damn right. All right. No, it's the podcast from where you can because we got to. Damn, we're well, actually like guess, surprised man. it's over already. I know. <laughs> well, we were at an hour and a half. God damn. So this is the I thought like usual. We could have just kept fucking going shit. <laughs> All right, guys, so... That'll be all for the rest of the week. Like we said at the beginning of the episode, please make sure to check out our Twitch channels at the begin uh, at the top of the channel description. Make sure to follow us. us. Please follow That's us. That's the mark, man. Shut the <laughs> fuck up! I realized what I did before. Yo, I you... listened to it and I did say that. I'm an uh, idiot. I told you. Got him. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Caught him in four K. Caught him in four K. I should have cut it out too. I don't know why I didn't. Yeah. We're raw, uncut. Because it was funny. Because we <laughs> leave it uncut and raw like we like it. Uh, all right. Well, you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your week. Uh, hopefully some good news comes out. Oh, guys, I gotta show you some stuff. Deadpool 3 promo images came out, so you can see Deadpool 3 with Wolverine. And then they have new Avatar, the last Airbender posters Woo! that came out. Dude, I'm excited for them. Well, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, all right, you guys. You guys enjoy the rest of your days. We got Josh. Later. We got Joe. Fuck you. We got Andy. We got this bitch. And we got Cody. You guys enjoy the rest of your week, and we'll see you guys next time.